Hey guys, welcome back to another video. D Cycle here. Today we're going to install a new shifter peg on my 2018 Sport Glide. I picked up this little guy here on eBay. This is from Drag Specialties, and the part number will be right here and also in the description below. The thing about this guy here, the threaded part was a little too long for it to fit flush. That's what she said! So, what I had to do was have somebody shave off a little bit of the threading so that it would fit flush with the peg and we're gonna see how flush it fits I'm sure it probably looks like it's gonna do pretty well so let's go ahead and get it put on and the only tool that we're gonna need for this is a six millimeter allen key all right so I'm gonna hold firmly on the shifter arm here and get my allen key in here and just start turning and this should come right off pretty easy We'll compare it to the one that I bought, and yeah, we're really close, so this should work out just fine. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of thread locker and put it on this new peg. And this one doesn't have uh, a place to put an Allen key or anything, so it's pretty much to screw on. So I'm gonna get it started here. And these little fins right here are rubber, so they're gonna they're gonna grab the grip really well for you. And for a little bit of extra insurance, I'm gonna take one of my riding gloves, hold and give it just a little more of a turn. Looks pretty good. Alright, so what better way than to test out a new motorcycle part than to actually ride the bike? We're going to do that today. I'm going to head down to Ted Harley Davidson. I'm actually picking up some docking hardware for a sissy bar I ordered. So we're going to head down there and grab that and see how the shifter peg does. And I'm going to keep this guy handy in my one of my saddlebags just in case. Oh, one more thing I wanted to mention. I got some mail yesterday and I didn't see this in my mailbox and I went in the mailbox this morning to double check in there and I did have a piece of mail. So this comes from... Hella Stoat Garage from Reno, Nevada. Oh, nice. Check it out. Poker chip. Harley Davidson of Reno. That is a nice looking poker chip. And he also sent me a couple stickers. Those look nice, man. You did a good job on these. So, Mr. Hella Stoat Garage, let's get you up on the locker. Tell you what, I'm going to start a new line. You're going to go right below Mr. J.T. Southern Pride. All right, good progress there, man. I like it. Thank you very much, Hello Stoke Garage. And if you guys don't know yet, I do have a P.O. box. I'll put it right here as well as in the description below. So make a nice addition to my collection. And actually, since we're going down to Ted's today, I'm going to be picking up a handful of chips to send out to a few moto vloggers. So I hope I remember to do that. My memory is kind of going to shit lately. All right, so let's gear up and get out of here. Test the peg here a little bit. Seems like it's on there pretty well. I just hope the damn thing doesn't fall off. Going 55 down the road. Oh God, there's all mud up in here, so I'm probably getting mud all underneath my fenders. This bike's all nice and clean. I almost didn't ride down today, but you know what? Damn it, I wanted to ride. It's gonna be in the 40s, I said. If it is, I'm going. Oh, in case you guys were wondering, a few videos back, I was talking about hearing a rattle up here somewhere. It's actually this gas cap. So I destroyed that myth with it being anything to do with the fairing. So I'm on my way down to Ted's Harley right now. I am picking up some docking hardware for a new sissy bar I ordered. They didn't have it in stock for the Sport Glide right now, but they said they should have it around the 5th of January. So I'm going to go ahead, head up here, get the docking hardware, and get that put on. That way, when the sissy bar comes in, all I got to do is snap it right on. And this is the sissy bar in the model I went with. Very 
Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video here, that way I can save some of my GoPro battery for the dealership. So I'll see ya when we get there. Hey guys, here I am once again at Ted's Harley Davidson in Alton, Illinois. Stopping here to get some docking hardware for my new sissy bar I ordered for my Sport Glide. So let's take a look inside, take a look around, say hi to a few people, and we'll hit the road. Check out this 2019 Riker. That thing is awesome looking. I think old D-Cycle's gonna have to test ride one of these coming up. These things look like so much fun. Thank you. Nate. All right, well, I just got word that the iron is out on the showroom floor, so we're going to get a couple shots of it. There it is. My very first Harley. The very first bike ever. Awesome. Oh, there's something else I want to show you guys before I head out. Check this guy out. Little Honda monkey. This thing is so cool, man. Look at that seat. You know, they have these and they have Groms, man. I would choose one of these over a Grom any day. It just I like the old school look of it. <laughs> Do it, man. Go smoke them. Alright, well I got some stickers and poker chips for a few of you that have been sending me stuff. I'll try to get those out in the mail this coming week. Uh, fortunately I came down here for that docking hardware, but they didn't have it in stock. They said somebody must have come and grabbed it, so I mean that's alright. They got it ordered for me and that and the sissy bar should be at the same time, so look for that to come in a future video.
a couple hogs. I always have an awesome time when I come down here. The staff is so cool here. I talked to Nate for a good long while I was here. And Brian, Brian Henderson, you may have seen him in previous videos. He actually sold me the Sport Glide. I found out he moved up to sales manager, so I was actually one of his last sales before he got promoted. So congrats to you, Brian, man, that's awesome. Yep, it has in no way gotten any warmer out. The sun has gone away completely. It's still butt cold out. Oh well, I got a stop or two to make before I get home, so it won't be 40 minutes of complete riding. I bet you if I rode the whole way home, I'd turn into a D-sickle. One of the last times I came down here, I was talking about White Castle. I'm almost tempted to stop and get me some belly bombers, but you know what? Anything past 30, man. I can't trust my gut anymore. <laughs> so I come back down here, man, I'm going to test ride one of those Rikers. Those things are so cool looking. That and that little monkey, man. It just, the seat on that was just so cushy looking. It was awesome. Now I threw a leg over it. It was actually really comfortable. Well, guys, 2019 is here. I hope we're off to a good start. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching today. Please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon when you do. That way you know videos are out just like this one. Drop a thumbs up on this video, and I'll see you in the next one. You guys take it sleazy. Brand in my pocket, a million on deck. Riding off in the sunset, you bet I'm just a rider. I got it all locked.